Now, Rachel Garceau with the On Your Side forecast. It is 6.50. Happy Monday. Hope you had a wonderful weekend despite the smoke and the haze. And if you thought it was smoky and hazy here in the valley, the mountains are just socked in right now. I had a kiddo that spent the weekend in Cascade. They went boating regardless, but it was very, very smoky in Cascade. And this is a current look at Redfish Lake up in Stanley. Lots of smoke trickling down into some of these valleys in the mountains. And of course, we're dealing with it down here in the Treasure Valley and Magic Valleys as well. And as far as temperatures go this morning, we're hanging in there in the low 70s for the Boise area. Mid 60s for the Twin Falls area right now. It's 51 and smoky up in McCall. 60 degrees in St uh, Seattle and 64 right now in Portland. They will still be abnormally hot along the West Coast. And they have their fair share of air quality concerns as well in Washington State and in Oregon. We are still in that orange air quality category, which means it's unhealthy. For sensitive groups, it's not entirely healthy for anyone, though, to spend any, any prolonged time outdoors if you can help it when these smoky, hazy conditions. So the Treasure Valley or the Magic Valley, I should say, included in that air quality alert. And then we have a fire weather warning in place for eastern Idaho. And as you can see here from northern Idaho through most of Washington state and much of Oregon as well, that air quality, a big concern because of wildfires in British Columbia, in Washington State, and in Montana. So depending on the direction of the winds, it's all just kind of getting filtered through the Pacific Northwest. We also today are going to throw the chance of some thunderstorms into the mix. We have this area of low pressure that is spinning its wheels over Northern California, pulling up some of that monsoon moisture and just creating enough instability that we could see some of those storms firing off. Actually, every afternoon for the next several days, we'll see very much a copy and paste scenario play itself out. So we'll have some cloud cover today combined with the haze will make it feel once again kind of gray and dingy outside. Unfortunately, there's a chance of those storms in the Stanley area this evening will clear up a little bit, calm down through the day tomorrow, then come Tuesday afternoon, especially in the Pocatello area. If you're heading to Pocatello tomorrow evening, be warned some very gusty outflow winds and possible heavy rain at times could pop up. East Central Mountains, same story tomorrow. We'll see some sunshine on Wednesday morning. And then as we head into Wednesday evening, even near the Treasure Valley, there's a chance of some storms firing off. Now, these won't be big rain makers as far as these storms go, but they will be wind makers. So the wind will be whipping and some dry lightning possible as well. Hence those fire weather warnings. For today in the Treasure Valley, they'll look at these temperatures. 92 for CUNA, 95 in Ontario, 92 in Hazy and Mountain Home. These are pretty seasonable high temperatures for uh, nearing the middle of August. 86 in Idaho City, mid 80s from McCall, Donnelly and Cascade with a chance of a storm or two. That chance looks greatest as you head to the Stanley area, but still there is a chance in the West Central Mountains. 77 for Stanley, 75 in Sun Valley with widespread smoke and haze up in the mountains. Same story for the Magic Valley, 87 in Twin Falls today, 89 for Gooding with hazy conditions and that mix of sun and clouds today. The haze will linger for the foreseeable future. Unfortunately, those skies should be a little brighter over the next couple of days and temperatures stay relatively normal, maybe a degree or two above in the mid 90s through the rest of the work week.